The city of Kolwezi, home to more than half a million people, sits on top of the world's richest mineral reserves, a treasure trove of copper, cobalt and gold that powers Congo's economy. In recent years, mining activity has been increasingly aging inside the city itself, uprooting thousands of people who often complain of unfair treatment. The Geka Mines district of Kolwezi is already ruined. Everything is already ruined. It will disappear. It won't exist in 10 years anyway. Everyone is already gone and we're staying. When you see the city, it's really not good. There were more than 300 houses and now there are only a few houses here and there. Mining permits cover most of Kolwezi's surface area. Some of the people required to move are retired mine workers living in quarters built in the 1960s. They say the mining companies are offering peanuts in exchange for their eviction. Our mining code requires us to negotiate with the customer. The customers now are the Chinese. We are the sellers. Now it's done on contract. They want to threaten people. We don't know why. Some of the residents who accepted earlier offers to move say they were placed in unfinished housing estates. The government has said nothing so far, because if the government says something, we would have to be paid. Most of the mines in Kolwezi are run by Congolese state miner Geka Mines in a joint venture with Chinese partners.